Today, I will show you how to transfer data between BlueStack Simulator and your Mac effortlessly using MacDroid and a simple script I created. Let's get started. I will open my BlueStacks. The first thing you need to do is go to the hamburger menu, settings, the advanced tab, and enable ADB and our debug bridge. So this enables your MacDroid or my script to basically connect to your BlueStacks to transfer data uh, using ADB. So you have to click on save changes and restart your emulator for this to work. So I'll close my BlueStacks and then turn it back on. So if you notice my BlueStacks might look a little different that's because I'm using a custom launcher called Smart Launcher. I mean, it's my favorite launcher. I use it both in my phone and in BlueStacks because it's super smooth, highly customizable, and supports you know intuitive gestures. And you can see the default BlueStacks uh, launcher have a lot of ads in the bottom. You cannot customize the wallpaper. It looks bad, and it's pretty slow. This is super fast. I mean, it has gestures, so I can just swipe down for my search, swipe up for my app list of apps, and swipe right for my file explorer. That's super customizable. All the apps and tools I'm mentioning in the video, their links will be in the description. So once your BlueStacks is open and your ADB is enabled inside BlueStacks, I will open up MacDroid. It will automatically detect the device and the typical MacBook permission and access data from the app. You just have to click allow and your device will be automatically mounted. So this is the device of the emulator. Uh, it's running some Samsung device. It's emulating it inside the emulator. I'll just rename it to BlueStacks emulator. You can rename it to whatever you want. And then I will click show in finder. So it will open up the root directory in my finder of the Android device, of your emulator basically. You can ignore all these other folders, go into SD card. You'll have all your files in your emulator there. I'll just open up so that I can show you the same files are listed here. It's exactly the same things. I'll go into downloads. So the same files are here. Now I can access it uh, in my, I can even preview it before copying, right? So I'll just copy a few images and one APK into my max downloads folder and paste it here but in order for you to copy files from your mac to your emulator or any android device you would have to subscribe to the pro version of MacDroid. the prices are not cheap but it's worth it if you're transferring a lot of files i bought the lifetime membership for 35 dollars because i transferred a lot of files between my android device and mac so depending upon your use case, uh, you can choose the plan which suits you the best, free, a subscription-based pro plan, or a one-time license. But alternatively, you can use my script, which is absolutely free. But for now, I'll copy files using MacDroid. I'll select these files, and then copy, go into my emulator's downloads folder, create a new folder, files, from Mac, and then I'll paste it, boom. I'll refresh my downloads folder inside my emulator. I get the files from Mac, the 11 files I copied are successfully transferred. <laughs> so yeah, this, that is super, super fast, super simple, but then you have to pay for the tool to kind of copy data to the emulator. I mean, depending upon use case, right? If you just want to back up stuff uh, from your phone or your emulator to your Mac, then the free version works seamlessly. Or if you want to just transfer data throughout, you can use my script, which I made for myself, essentially, because in certain use cases, the script is super useful and even better than using MacDroid. I'll talk about the script, how to use that and how it works. So for that, you need to just open up your terminal so first you have to install uh, run the setup file, which will basically install Homebrew and Zenity. You can manually install that. You can find the commands for manually installing it in the readme file 
or you can just run the script it'll install it for you in my case it's already installed so it'll just automatically skip it it'll detect and skip it if it's already there in the system if it's not it'll just install you might just need to enter your system's password for the permission for it to install it and that's it this step you had to only do it once for the setup and you know and now I'll show you how to copy files from your emulator to your Mac using the script called BlueStacks Data Script uh, Copy Script. Drag and drop it here. I mean, dragging and dropping it works better for some weird reason. And yeah, you have like uh, you know, seven options uh, to copy uh, different file formats. And you know, the option one is specifically more custom. It'll allow you to copy, you know. Uh, a specific file or a specific file format if you don't know the uh, you know name of the file or you just want to back up all the uh, like specific file types so i'll show you two examples how it can be used um, i mean specifically two use cases for the option one i mean the first one i'll just talk about it like in a sense the one option can be just copy the exact file name of the file and just paste it it'll just copy the exact file into your downloads folder inside uh you know bluestacks a folder called bluestacks data but if you just want to copy a specific uh file like mp3 for i'll just show the example like i'll hit one enter now it'll uh, select the emulator device now hit star it's basically the asterisk uh, it's like a wildcard which you can use it to you know uh tell the script that i don't know the name of the file or i don't care about the name i just want it to be it can be any name and then dot the specific format so it'll go and find all the mp3 files in my emulator and then copy it to uh mp3 or whatever format you want it'll copy it into the into your mac so let enter boom so it detected two files and it's just copying those two files and it will open up the folder after copying it it'll open up folder called blue stack data and inside that the file format called mp3 is being created inside that you have the two mp3 files i mean that's it so that's super simple and another way of using it is a little bit advanced and that is if you want to copy a series of files so for that i'll just show you uh you know sample video series this folder contains like a lot of videos this can be some TV series with like episode, different episodes, or like some tutorials with some different episode numbers. But the initial name of the video file or the, you know, what we are trying to copy might be same. So I'll just select this file name, copy the initial part, which is going to be the same because if you see command C to copy it, if you see all the episode number is changing, right? So I can't, I don't want to enter all the different numbers here, I just hit one. So I'll hit uh, the star symbol, asterisk, dot the name of the format, I mean, mp4. And because this means after this, like the, this much would be the same, and after this, it can be anything, and then mp4. So you can use it for various use cases, but what this will do is it'll copy all the video files which has that similar name. It'll find it, so it's inside this folder, now it's copying it, all of them, it opened in my Mac now. So I have the same for, uh, videos in my Mac, and it's super easy. So I'll just open a random video, just to test it out. Yeah. So the same video is here in my Mac. Um, where is it, number eight? perfect so it's copied in my mac super simple and super fast because I mean, it's all uh, running through codes it's even more efficient than using mac droid and so now i'll show you how to uh copy like just one more example right next like, let's say you want to copy you know apk zip and r, r files i'll just hit seven It'll automatically copy all that files and create separate folders and open it up sequentially. So APK opened up here. Now it'll open up zip and that's it. There's no raw files in my emulator. So it just opened these two files. And I'll show you how to copy stuff uh, from your Mac to uh, 
the emulator. And this time it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay nothing. <laughs> so drag and drop this script uh, into the terminal. So again, this would just make sure your device is connected. So it connects with the emulator. And then it'll prompt you with this message saying Android device. File transfer, select the files you want to upload. So you can choose the file you want to upload. So I click yes, choose the files. So it's another like a easy method, like this will open up your finders window. Uh, the easy way to kind of open up, uh, you know, if you have already a few files you would like to send or like you already have it in your finder, you can just drag and drop it into here. It'll open up that folder and you can select the files from there. So I'll like, uh, select a few files. Let's say these image files and select them. Hit OK. And now it'll ask for a what, uh, what is the name of the folder you want to create and put this file into. Basically, it'll get copied inside the downloads folder in your emulator. And so I'll just say test one. I mean, random, it doesn't really matter. So hit OK. So it copied all these files and shows SD card downloads test one. This is where the file is located inside your emulator. You can transfer more files or close. I'll just close, I'm done. So go back here. I'll refresh it. Test one folders here, 11 items are successfully transferred. Super nice. So yeah, so I mean, everything was successfully transferred to your Mac, uh, emulator from your Mac, absolutely free, super fast. So this is the initial version of the scripts. I will definitely uh, keep on improving it. And I intentionally made it open a uh, file rather than making it an app or something like that so that anybody can improve it. All you genius programmers out there can, I know you guys can make it much more better. Please share with me. I would like to see what you guys did. And if you have any feedback, leave it down in the comments. I would like to know if there's anything I can improve in the video or in the script. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support means a lot. Have an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.